So this is going to be a short video. I want to talk about how to import an FBX into Blender Octane and have its embedded texture to show up. In this case, it's going to be um, a Mixamo character, a Mixamo animated character. This is what it's supposed to do. So just download the FBX. So go to your render engines and revert it to Eevee and go file and import your character. Select the character and import it. Here it is, the animation is working. And because I'm in Eevee, if I go, if I go to the shading tab in object, I will see this. And this is the usual uh, Eevee uh, shader material. So we have a few materials here. We have body, we have the hair. So let's start with the body. What I'm going to do is uh, get rid of the normal map. Octane does not need normal map. So we're going to plug that into normal. Uh, we have a roughness, a specular, and a base color. I don't need the metallic. Uh, we're going to uh, revert to, to Octane first. Uh, the, dis the texture do not display properly because they are still uh, the EV ones. You go to materials, converters, and convert to octane material. Give it a second, and here it is. It always comes with a texture emission that you don't need, so delete that. And you have a proper texture with the skin. Uh, this is the hair. It's also a. Uh, uh, it is still the. EV material, so I'm gonna get rid of the normal map and convert to Octane material. Again, there is a texture emission that I don't need, and I have a I think I have a normal, and the other is the base color, which also controls the opacity. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, metallic, I think the specular and the roughness as well like this, and I need to uh, modify a bit the uh, hair because it's not uh, displaying properly. So the albedo of the hair also controls the opacity. Throw it into opacity and it will disappear. Go Shift A, gradient, and put the gradient into the opacity, between the opacity and the, and the texture, and play with the gradient here. So I think this value of uh, the white at 0, 0, 0, uh, at 0, 0, 0.005 uh, gives me what I want for the hair. But I got rid of the eyelashes and I want them back. So I select the eyelashes and I'm going to separate the material. To be able to see the eyelashes, you need to go very low with the white here. So. I'm just going to type in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And now they are back. So I've got the eyelashes and the hair. So as you can see with a few clicks, I got the hair to work and the eyelash eyelashes work as well. And it's uh, properly shaded. I'm just going to revert to uh, direct lighting. And to make sure it's going to be possible to animate this, you can, you need to also change this to reshapable proxy, all of the objects. So now they are all in reshapable proxy. Select the shot. I've selected the path for the output. I'm going to change the format to FFmpeg. I'm also going to select here and pick four. And I'm in direct light and diffuse here. I think these parameters should work. Let's start to render the animation. Render, render animation. So as you can see, it works. And, um, and what I just showed you uh, is going to work for any type of FBX. I used it on an animation because I think it's more uh, 
interesting, but uh, that will work for any type of FBX object that you need to import into inside Blender Octane. I hope that was useful. I'll see you soon in another tutorial.